Hello everyone, how are you? It is Lori and I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I'm gonna burn a little Palo Santos. Santo, I don't know why I keep adding an S on that end. It's just Palo Santo. I'm gonna burn a little bit. I've burned it for every reading today. So all messages have been awesome. Very peaceful. Very good energies here. All right. Let us go ahead and see what we have here today for your uplifting reading all about you. This is where we focus on you. We draw attention and shine a spotlight on you, what you um, have been through, where you are now, what you've accomplished, what you've overcome. We'll also look at how you affect the people around you, talent or skill that you have that we need to know about. Also, what you do right now that you never want to stop doing. Also, Spirit will give you some advice on how to continue to take care of yourself or get yourself back on track if you are needing some sort of advice. All right, so let's go ahead and see what comes out here for you. The first card is what makes you truly um, special? What makes you unique? Okay, okay. This will be what you have overcome or accomplished in your life that you should be proud of. Um, what your impact on the people around you is. Talent or skill that we should be aware of or we want to draw attention to. What you do right now that you should never stop doing. And here's the last card of advice on how to continue to care for yourself. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So at this point, I'm hearing you are in a position of uh, emotional stability to the point of you're capable of handling your emotions. There may be some difficulties still happening, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see what it makes you unique and different. Two of Pentacles. You know how to stay balanced. You trust yourself. You trust your intuition here. You are cour courageous. You're brave. You're in your, you feel that way because you know you can trust spirit and yourself. This is really, really good energy here of, of balance. You understand that life is going to have its ups and downs, but you don't let those things overwhelm you. You are the focus, okay? Not the situations that you've gotten caught up in. You are not the situations that you have been caught up in in the past. You know that that's just life experiences. You've been through something and now you're going to continue to go forward. Okay, brave, courageously. I love this energy. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm getting already that you have overcome a difficult situation here. Um, probably you made a bad choice in something and now, you know, you've worked very hard to bring balance and restore balance, your reputation, uh, to your life. Eight of wands. Yeah. You acted impulsively on something in the past. You thought you had all the information, but this energy was just immature. Just, oh, just came in. You may have said something very, very damaging in the past. You might even have been accused of libel or slander. Now, the difficult part of this is you fully believed it when you said it. It wasn't like you were out to hurt somebody or anything else. You really just thought you were speaking the truth, taking action on something that you thought was the truth, and it was not. Okay, so this is definitely an energy of <clears throat> maybe even... Um, acting before you thought clearly, but I still get that you really did believe whatever you were acting on or saying was the truth, okay? And it, it, that happens. We have absolute conviction um, that what we believe or feel or think or say or do is the only truth and until we are shown that we're wrong, Okay. And we cannot beat ourselves up over that. All we can do is move forward, let it go, heal, find the balance, okay? Understand that we're human and we're going to make the mistakes like that, okay? Now, what you're, the lesson you learned from that 
is that nothing is exactly what you think it is. It's about neutrality. It's not all about being right or right or left, okay? It's not about all good or all bad. It's about balance, and that's exactly what your what makes you unique. You have overcome um, these beliefs that held you in, I'm hearing rapture, you know, like you fully were, that was your whole existence, believing exactly what you were told, whatever this belief was, okay, and you acted upon it, you you did move forward with, with it and impulsively without all the facts, and that's what you have overcome. You've accomplished balance in your life. That was a big hurdle. That was a big embarrassing hurdle, okay? At the time, it was embarrassing. Now you realize, you know what? That's just life. Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, there's, I mean, there's not a person out there that can't say that they believed something that they later found out was just not true, okay? It just isn't what it was or what they thought it was. That's why we cannot beat ourselves up. All we can do is find balance, peace, harmony, and realize that that's a life lesson, and we just have to keep going forward, okay? Just be brave and keep going forward. What kind of impact do you have on the people around you? Six of Swords, you show people how to move past what they've done, what they've said, the bad choices that they have mad, made. Mad. Hmm. All right, so maybe maybe it had had to do with anger. All right, so maybe you're in anger management now and you show people how to control their passions, their desires, their beliefs, to balance that out, to get the information. You know, what what can we see above the surface, but also what's going on below the surface? Neutrality again, balance, okay? It's not all right and wrong. So the impact that you have on people is to help them see all of those things and to control uh, or not control I'm sorry that was my rewind contain okay contain they choose you're showing people how to respond instead of overreact okay how to make sure that what they believe is balanced with reality is it the truth or is that just something that somebody has told us our whole life? All right, so you could be helping people learn these things. But you definitely help their life become easier because of the information that you impart, that you show them clearly that they can overcome as long as they put on a brave face and put on their brave boots and move forward. I just noticed there's a spider why was my attention brought to the spider? Nope. See, it's the appearance of something. It's not what it really is. It, that looked like a spider to me. Does that not look like a spider to you? And then when you look at it closer, it is not a spider. It is a boot lace. It is just a boot lace. So something is not always what it appears to be. Okay. And you show people how to see the reality of it. Contain the excitement. All right, what is a talent or skill that you have that we should recognize? Three of Wands, this is all about being in the here and the now and enjoying life because you know you're in it for the long haul, okay? It's about neutrality. It's about staying in the energy, okay? Balanced energy with an eye toward the future. You don't see this person um, moving into the future. You see her enjoying the moment, being at peace, but her eyes are looking towards the future, not the past, okay? Because you can't go and do anything about the past. You can enjoy the here and the now, and that's what you do. You are fully in the present moment with an eye toward the future. Yeah, I mean, if you're putting too much energy into what the future holds, then you're not able to enjoy this, the moment, and you are very well balanced here. I do have to say that. Very good energy. Okay, so your talent or skill is to be in the present moment with an eye toward the future. All right, what do you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? 
the devil facing your fears, okay, facing any um, breaking the chains of anything that may hold you back from going after what you want fully. Look at this. This person in the three of wands is looking at this devil card here and she is saying, yeah, uh-huh, nope. I can choose what I'm going to focus on. You have no control over me. Does she? She is so peaceful. She's like right in the moment, okay? And she's saying, no, you cannot hold me back. I understand that these things that hold me back are my own fears, and I'm going to face them. She's fully facing her fears, breaking the chains, and that's what you do. You see things for what it is. It's your choice to be held back by these things, and you're choosing not to. Love that. All right, so what advice does Spirit have for you, all right, to focus on you? Four swords here, okay? Four swords here. Cut the ribbons of those things that are ego-driven, egocentric. Make peace with what is happening in your life, all right? And you do. Continue to go after what um, serves you, but cut out those things that do not. Literally, there's a cord cutting right here in this, okay? And this is an official cord cutting, so there may be an actual need to do a cord cutting ritual. Yeah, sometimes there's energies attached to us that, you know, they're strong, the relationships. You're not cutting the person or the situation. I don't, I don't, I don't. Take a deep breath. All right. So if there's an energy tied to a person, okay, and they and this seems to keep affecting you and affecting your life, cut the cord. Okay. You're not cutting that person out of your life. You're just not allowing that energy to control you anymore. Okay. If it's a belief, you're cutting that energy to that belief. You're seeing the neutrality that needs to be had, the balance. Okay. But this is about cord cutting, letting go of any negative energies, any beliefs that do not serve. I mean, it's definitely about belief systems and, and words and thoughts. I mean, look at the feathers here. Okay. And there are big wing. There's, is that one wing or is this his wings? I think it might be this person's wings. They also have wings on their ears coming off their helmet around their ears. So that tells me they're hearing the messages, okay? Hearing the truth, hearing that the, you, the, there's a need to let go of the things that just are not right. And there's sun um, emblems on, like metals, okay, on this uniform here. And blue, dark blue with stars, the sun, clarity, understanding, loyalty, trust, courage, bravery. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. So anyways, you are hearing the messages and you're releasing any um, beliefs, thoughts, whatever that don't serve you. You're cutting the cord. You're releasing that energy. Moving forward. All right. Let's go ahead and get you some spirit animal messages here. What are the spirit animal messages? This is a beautiful message. This is a beautiful life. I will tell you, it can be very, very difficult to overcome that type of um, embarrassment, bad reputation. People didn't trust you after this, maybe. Um, whatever the situation is, you overcame this, and that's a big accomplishment. So you should be very proud of yourself. And uh, I definitely am giving you a pat on the back for overcoming that to seeing uh, how you could overcome it because we are just humans, okay? And that you're focusing on the here and the now, living in the moment with an eye toward the future. And you're also helping other people to move past their difficulties. I love that. Look at this. There's three cards that are dark and there's three cards that are light. It's that balance. It's that neutrality. Beautiful energy here. So if this is your message, make sure you tickle tap, boop or zap that like button. Claim it, okay? Claim this message in the comments. 
And if you would like to share this information, maybe this message with somebody that maybe just doesn't get it or needs confirmation in their own life that this is what they've done, please feel free to share these messages. All right. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And I hope this resonated with you and that you found something that uh, inspires you, gives you courage, gives you recognition for the journey that you have been on. I mean, you've overcome a lot here. This is a big deal. So I hope you uh, resonate with this message. And if you're one of my returning viewers, welcome back. Love you guys. All right, look at this. We have Squirrel Spirit. Believe in yourself that you can overcome any challenge that you the knowledge that you're putting here in the here and now, the nuts that you're grabbing a hold of and burying in the ground now will grow for the future. Beautiful. I just watched a squirrel do that at a park the other day, bury a nut, an acorn as a matter of fact. And he just was standing right in front of me and I said, are you going to remember where you put that? And I, <laughs> the thought that came to my mind was, well, even if I don't, I'll find somebody else's nut and I'm still going to be abundant in the future someone else can have this one you know it all works out there's no fear of the future is what was coming through with that okay no fear of the future we're just planting those seeds for the oak tree to grow or for somebody to find that nut and enjoy it and find sustenance in the future all right so we have squirrel spirit to believe in yourself and what you are capable of and that you can overcome any challenge Let's see what the other uh, spirit animal message is going to be. We have 65, whale spirit, trusting in the great mystery. Beautiful. That's an 11. This is a 12. So 57, 65. It's almost a mirror image, but not quite. If it was 56, 65, or 56, 75, maybe. But let's see what we have here for you. So 57... Is squirrel spirit. You have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by everything that you need. An abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all of your hard work. Squirrel spirit shows up when you need reminding that the acorns that you have gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow. So relax into knowing that there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality that you do want to experience. Through your diligent preparation, you have gained wisdom and strength. How much potential you have, Libras. Believe in yourself because spirit believes in you and wants you to know that you have enough and you are enough. Doesn't that truth just make you feel safe and secure? It should, because you have everything you need right here, right now. All right, that's a good message. Let's see. Oh, Spirit's telling me to read the rest of this. There's a another part. This is the protection message. So if that's caught your interest here or piqued your hearing, the unpredictability of life can shake your confidence in yourself and your potential for handling the challenges that come your way. Does the thought of not having enough or being enough make you feel squirrely? Have you forgotten all of your strengths, wisdom, and resources because you embarrassed yourself? You have come so far on your wits and your creativity, making use of everything, all of your potential, and everything that Spirit presents you so that you uh, to help you through your life's trying times. It's time to take a look back on your life and remember how your needs have always been met for your highest good, even during your most challenging times. Life loves you and so many treasures are hidden in plain sight, ready to be revealed when you most need them. So again, relax. Squirrel Spirit wants you to know that you are poised and ready for whatever is coming next. So trust in yourself. And trust that spirit has your back. Love that. That's the truth of that situation. Absolutely. All right. So 
We just need to trust the great mystery that spirit has our back, that life is actually very good. Whale spirit is an ancient creature who was here at the beginning of time and who has seen everything, felt everything, and heard everything. In the hidden realms, where all things must gather first before manifesting into reality, whale spirit is the keeper, singing the soul of the whole world from the deepest waters of the coldest seas. When whale spirit appears, it is a reminder that there is a great mystery that you must accept without intellectually trying to understand it. Some things cannot be known by the mind, but only experienced through the heart, through intuition, and through the peripheral senses that are part that part the invisible veils separating the visible world from the great manifesting consciousness. Now is the time for you to immerse yourself in the great mystery of spirit and to trust that within the invisible, what you can't see now are the seeds of your intentions being tended to by the angels, those acorns that you're planting. The protection message here is, certainty is not offered to you right now. You are being asked to trust the process of co-creation. Whale spirit reminds you that your primary reality is not that of the material world, but that of the realm of spirit, from which the essence of your dreams and desires takes shape before arriving in reality. You must trust absolutely that what will come will be for your highest good. Stay in your present moment awareness and allow the hidden realms to hold your intentions safely until it is time for them to manifest for you. Let go, relax, for you will never be left behind. Some things take longer than others to arrive, so just trust the great mystery. Love that message. Let's go ahead and see what else we have here. I mean, that was absolute confirmation. And I do feel like the first message, part of the, each of these messages was for one group of you who have, who have already succeeded and who have already reached the pinnacle. And then the protection message is for those that are still on the journey. Still going through the journey. And that's good. We're all at different points in our life. You know, we're not all in the exact same spot. All right, harvest. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. Harvest, 14. So that's a five. Let's see what we have here. I think that's funny. That's coming out with the squirrel. The, you know, harvesting of the nuts like I was talking about. Everything will come to you in time when it's meant to. In the meantime, be in the present moment and play, okay? Be here, in the here and now, and just play. It says, life dances with death every single day. We may not always be aware of it, but the death of a project, a dream, a relationship will give space for the new thing to be birthed in your life. The cells in your body continuously die off to make room for the arrival of fresh new cells. The way to manage this dance between life and death, bitter and sweet, finding that sweet balance, okay, is to play. Lick that lollipop, eat the cupcake, take the ride, paint your nails or your walls, do something shocking, do something different and dance while you make breakfast, okay? Abandon the adulthood. Have fun. Just be free. Find yourself a swing set and see how high you can fly. Go ahead and color outside those lines. Just play, okay? Whatever else is going on in your life right now, do yourself a favor and disconnect from the drama by just having some fun. Just let it go. It does not matter as much as we like to think it does. Play. Have fun. All right, let's go to the harvest. It's time for a harvest. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it actually says it's time for a harvest. <laughs> Take stock of what has come to fruition for you and what still needs to be tended to. Celebrate your victories. Harvest that ripe, round fruit of your manifestations. 
because all of your hard work has created the sustenance and the seeds for your future. Revel in that. Look back at all the different versions of who you were, the dreams your younger self had, the goals, projects, and ambitions. How many of those things once only imagined are now an actual part of your experience? That's proof of you manifesting those things that you've wanted. All right, so perhaps things that your younger self craved are now a part of your life. And maybe you're taking those things for granted. Your younger self is high-fiving you today in congratulations of your successes. Your younger self is, uh, wait, an unfulfilled dream can be viewed with this same lens, okay? It's only a matter of time. You are in a constant cycle of wishing, believing, receiving, and manifesting. You're being in the present moment. You know what you've had in the past. You're living in the here and the now with an eye toward the future, okay? And this is how you manifest exactly what you're looking for. Honor how far you have come, your successes, all right? Even the failures, honor them because those failures are what propelled you into your successes. Take time to celebrate all of them, okay? Radically participate in your very own blessings. I love that. Love, 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 love that message for you. All right, we're going to get you an angel number here. We are going to get you an angel number. What's your divine numerology today, my loves? What do we have here for you? Look at that, 1010. It's all up to you. Keep in mind, moderation is the best way to go. Don't go too far left or too far right, too far into the good, or too far into the dark. Patience, going with the flow, having and keeping clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action only after careful thought, unconditional love. It's time to put your long-cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources that you require. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as a brand new opportunities. Trust in the process. Trust the great mystery. Just be. Have fun, okay? Love that. Now I'm being told to get you a different angel number. All right, this is interesting. We have one, four, three, preparation. And isn't that funny? We're here preparing for the harvest. All right, your angel whispers, life is filled with phases. The whisper is telling you to prepare for the unexpected and allow change to pass through you with a sense of peace. Don't have fear, okay? Financial and creative changes are upon you at this time. The positive affirmation here is, my dreams and desires are coming to fruition. Bringing change that I welcome with an open heart and open mind. I love this. You are in the process of preparing for your future. I love this message for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button. And if you want to honor or show respect for whoever this is, whoever overcame that impetuous, uh, disastrous situation in the past, please go ahead and give a, a thumbs up for them. All right. If you are interested in a personal reading, I can do these or any type of reading for you or any other sign. So if you would like a, more information, just email me. That email address is below every single video. Okay. And then I will send you all the details on everything that you need to know. And we can go from there. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.